BBC Radio Stoke, the voice of sport. Anticipation is rising on the eve of the 31st League Potteries Derby between Stoke City and Port Vale. A sellout These are tough times in the Potteries, one in ten out of work, 7,000 jobs on the line if two local pits close. Yet there's not a ticket to be had for a second division match that will pass unnoticed everywhere else. BBC Radio Stoke has even produced a special souvenir magazine, lasting proof that sport can elevate a community even in its bleakest hour. Stoke City found that earlier this year, an autoglass trophy win at Wembley, the highlight of their season. They know all about Pottery's pride too, going back to the days when Stanley Matthews wore the red and white of City before managing neighbours Port Vale. The man currently in charge of the Victoria ground is no stranger to little local difficulties. It means a lot to uh, the supporters, obviously, of both teams, and uh, I know when I played in them, I think two or three nights before the game, I couldn't sleep with the thought of uh, not winning that match and upsetting so many people. And in this town, I, I think it's important that our players, and I'm only interested in our players, obviously, that they do realise the importance of the game. And what of Port Vale, relegated last season, yet now fairly sprinting through autumn with just one defeat in the last 11 matches. It's a side of some quality with a sprinkling of new blood. Manager John Rudge almost lost his job last year when Vale were on the skids. He survived and can now laugh about his ability to avoid the sack. Keep dodging the bullets, <laughs> That's what it, keep ducking and diving as quick as you possibly can. Now I've been here 13 years now and uh, I've been managing nine years and probably Cluffy and Joe Royal have probably been at the club longer than me. For one day anyway, the worries over pit closures and unemployment in Stoke-on-Trent can be brushed aside. Local football pride is now at stake and thousands here in the Potteries will either be laughing or crying in their beer come tomorrow night.